A moment can change your life. The Thin Threads collection of life-changing moments. This Thin Thread story starts on Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, but that was not the high point of this journey. This whole climb started by default. I, not an experienced climber. I have never thought about climbing and I was a victim of pure peer pressure and I gave up to my friend Avi to climb with Make-A-Wish International. And so it was. I had to overcome 38 different kind of fears, documented. I was petrified that my worst fear had come true. After the first day of climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Africa, my heart might be giving out. At the age of 50, and with little climbing experience, this was not an unrealistic thought. Then, I heard a woman scream in the neighboring tent. I ran to her aid. I realized that she was having a panic attack, and I was about to have one too. She was sent to tell me, hey, be cool. As we sitting and having breakfast, we wanted to spend the last few hours in Tanzania exploring and understanding and seeing the people. The thin thread moment was the first one, the fact that Dr. Fidelis was sitting there overhearing our conversation and witnessing our effort to solicit a cab. And all of a sudden I get a tap on my shoulder saying, I hear that you're looking for somebody to drive you around. And I said, yeah, are you a taxi driver? And he says, no, but I am the local doctor and I'll be happy to guide you around. And as we start driving around, uh, we end up at the school that he actually uh, was a student, the Tela Primary School in Tela, Tanzania. I don't think they ever saw a white man before because simply they were running after our car singing and shouting, Wazungo, 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 which means in Swahili, a white man. But when we arrive at the school and uh, realize how beautiful those kids are, uh, we decide to take a tour and realize how much they don't have. Uh, the classrooms had no chairs or desks. The only map of the world we could find was hand-drawn. And as we walked around, the priest was telling us that sacks of sugar do a lot of for the school as they can able to keep kids in school by feeding them. And it was uh, really not much for us to uh, split $150 between the three of us and donate three sacks of sugar. The people at the school were very grateful. The donation was received as a large gesture. The school's 300 students lined up in rows outside. Then, with smiling faces, they began to sing the Tanzanian National Anthem. While the three of us, all dads, stood there crying, as I watched the young Tanzanian students sing in appreciation, I decided that I was going to help the people at this school as much as I could. I believe that the fact that we are now supporting this particular school under the mini foundation called Tela Jerusalem Project have really put a perspective of what one single person can do and how many lives one can change. The fact that one can give is the highest form of living. I went to the climb without expecting anything or understanding what the reward will be. My dear wife told me that it's gonna be the most memorable experience I'm ever going to have, and she was right. Thin Threads, real stories of life-changing moments.